Hello class 8. As you know that Hafil exams are approaching and now we have to complete our syllabus. So today I am starting chapter number 10. Few questions you have done earlier. Now I am uh, continuing the same exercise that is exercise 10.1 where you will add the algebraic expression. Now see the question number 3 first part here adding the add the following expressions ad minus bc comma bc minus ca comma ca minus ab you have to add these three expressions so what you will do in this question you have to write these uh, terms in uh, column form like ab minus bc here bc minus ca is there so always remember that like terms will come together means this bc and this bc are like terms so it will come below it and if the term has no sign it means there the sign of plus so plus bc will come here minus ca this is ab ab and ca are not like terms so this ca will be written separately ca now the third term is ca minus ab now ca is here it is having not having any sign therefore there is a sign of plus ca will come below ca because these two are like terms and minus ab will uh, come below this minus below this ab now we will draw a line now we will solve it as we know that minus plus is minus so ca minus ca is zero similarly minus bc plus bc Plus minus minus BC minus BC is also 0. AB minus AB is also 0. So the answer of this question is 0. This is the answer. Now take another example which is third part of question number 3. This is L square plus M square plus M square. LM plus MN. MN plus NL. And NL plus LM. So will write down these expressions in column four form as we have done in the first part of the question. We have written L square plus N square plus N square. Here it is LN plus MN. LN and MN are not here. So it will be written separately. LM plus MN. Now the here MN plus NL are here. So MN will come below MN. And this NL term is not here, so it will be written separately. So now the last expression is NL plus LN. NL will be written below this NL and LN will be written below this LN. Now draw a line like this and then add. Uh, plus plus is plus, so NL plus NL is twice of NL. Similarly, plus plus sign is over here. Mn plus Mn is plus twice Mn. And Ln plus Ln is twice Ln. And these three terms will come as it is. That is L square plus M square plus N square. So, this is the answer of uh, the given question where we have to add so, terms. Now, I am going to teach you subtraction. How to subtract the algebraic expression. Subtract 8a plus 3ab minus 2b plus 7 from 14a minus 5ab plus 7b minus 5. Now, here we have to subtract this term from this. So, this term will be written first. That is 14a minus 5ab plus 7b minus 5 and now 8a is here 8a and 14 are like terms so it will be written 8a over here plus 3ab will come below this ab 5ab minus 2b will come below this 7b and plus 7 will come below the minus 5 draw the line in subtraction Remember, we have to change the sign of this, this term. So, if plus sign is there, it will change it to minus. 
If plus is there, it will change into minus. Minus sign will change into plus. And plus sign will change into minus. Now, we will consider this sign and this sign. This is minus over here. Plus, minus is minus. So, 14 minus 8 is 6, 8. Now, if you see this sign and this sign, both are minus. And we know that minus minus is plus. So, 5 plus 3 is 8. We always take the sign of the greater number. So, minus 8ab. And here, this minus 2b is changed into plus 2b. So, plus plus is plus. So, 7 plus 2 is 9. 9b. And here, both are minus sign. So, minus sign will come as 7 has minus sign over here. And minus minus is plus. So, 7 plus 5 is 12. So, this is the answer of the given expression when you subtract the first term from the second term. Now, I am explaining question number 7 of the same exercise in which the perimeter of a triangle is 7p square minus 5p plus 11 and two of its sides are p square plus 2p minus 1 and p p square minus 6p plus 3. Find the third side of the triangle. Here in this question, you know that perimeter of triangle. Perimeter of triangle is equals to sum of three sides. So, if the perimeter is already given and two of the sides are given, to find out the third side, we can do it like this. Third side equals to perimeter minus sum of two sides. So, perimeter is 7 p square minus 5 p plus 11 minus sum of two sides. Two sides are given p square plus 2 p minus 1 p square plus 2 p minus 1 and the other side is 3 p square minus 6 p plus 3. So, what we will do? We will add the sides Two sides given in this question first. Now, if we add p square and 3p square, we get 4p square plus 2p minus 6p will become minus 4p because plus minus is minus and 6 minus 2 is 4. And we always take the sign of the greater number, which is minus over here. So will minus sign will come over here. Minus 1 plus 3 is there, 3 minus 1 is 2. Now, we will open the bracket, 7p square minus 5p plus 11 minus, minus plus is minus 4p square and this minus and minus when multiplied, it will become plus 4p and minus plus is minus 2. This will be equal to 7p square minus 4 because these two are like terms, so that, uh, and 1 is plus, the other is minus, so they will be subtracted. 3p square, 7 minus 4 is 3. Minus 5p and plus 4p is here. Minus plus is minus, so 5 minus 4 is 1. And um, uh, 5 is greater than 4, so sign of uh, 5 is minus, so minus p plus 11 minus 2 will become plus 9. So this is the answer, means this is the third side of the triangle. I hope you have understood uh, addition and subtraction of algebraic expression. So you will be able to solve the question of 10.1 exercise.